Visiting a shop or supermarket with your mum and dad can be fun. But have you ever thought about where all that food comes from and how it got there? A lot of the food we eat every day, like bread, breakfast cereals, cakes and biscuits, comes from plants called cereals. And perhaps the most important of all is wheat. Wheat starts growing in the autumn and winter and looks just like grass, but it soon grows much taller and by the summer it begins to turn a light golden brown. It forms its seeds, or grains, at the top of tall stems and that's probably when you notice it most, with the plant holding its grain heads, or ears, high above the ground and swaying in the breeze. These stems become Massey Ferguson combine harvesters have always been red, ever since the early days, when they were known as Massey Harris combines. This large machine is a Massey Ferguson 40, which was the biggest made by the company when it was new. It's powered by a 300 horsepower turbocharged diesel engine and has a special power flow header at the front that's a bit different to a normal cutting header because it has rubber belts to help the crop into the machine. In the air-conditioned cab, the driver has a great view of the crop in front as the knife cuts it and the reel feeds it in. A special electronic system tells the driver how fast or slow the crop is being threshed. All these Massey Ferguson combines working in one field are 7278 models. They look great, don't they? You're more likely to see lots together like this in parts of America, where the fields are much larger. How many can you see? Did you count 15? They're fitted with all the latest electronic controls, including satellite positioning. It's a bit like the sat-nav you may have in your car, except instead of showing the driver or farmer a map of where to go, they can see a map of the field that shows how well the crop has grown. This helps the farmer to improve the areas that need it by adding extra fertilizer ready for next year. Here's one of the very latest Massey Ferguson combine. The John Deere 9880i STS are large machines that use the rotary separation method. Remember the big sieve? They can also be fitted with something very clever called the Hillmaster system. Not all fields are flat and level, and sometimes combines need to work on hilly ground. Hillmaster automatically keeps the combine level on steep slopes. The wheels and the header follow the ground, but the rest of the combine is kept perfectly level to make sure all the grain is caught and none falls back onto the ground and is wasted. But fascinating as they are to us, to farmers, combines are also extremely important. They are responsible for harvesting some of the most vital crops that feed people and animals and help to make it possible for many people in the world to eat as well as they do. Without them, harvesting is a slow process that needs lots of people to do it. A wonderful machine indeed.